Hi, so firstly, I will talk about the overview. So the overview is image processing with OpenCV, which is masking, segmentation, image sharpening, and then transfer learning with Keras pre-trained model and feature extraction and deep learning model to classify the images and now let's start so my name is Sultan Hamid Matar Hamid Rashid Zahadi and I am in 11.1 CAI and today I am going to explain this code so firstly he defined data time as dt numpy as np pandas as pd then he made import matplotlib matplotlib uh, dot uh, pi uh, plot as plt and then import seaborn as sns so matplotlib is plt and seaborn is sns then he made the style use 538 and the set style is white grid then he he made like uh, he made the uh, uh, import cv2 uh, from uh, cyp.stats import uniform then here he made the models equal like the keras model import model sequential so models are uh, imported to model sequential layers are uh, LSTM activation dense dropout input embedding masking and then the utils all are, are MP utils and two categorical then he made uh, like IPython uh, from IPython dot uh, core uh, inter interactive shell to import interactive shell then he made uh, the the import interactive shell uh, like the AST node interactivity equal to ALL and then now here in this code he is going like he's copying the pretend uh, the pre-trained model to the catch directory so he like in this code right here this this all he is uh, like pre-trained he's like copying the pre-trained models to the catch directory and in this code, he is copying the ex exception models. So here he's copying the pre-trained models, and here he's copying the exception models. And now here, he like made the uh, like the base folder, the data folder, and train uh, data folder, test data folder, and then he made the categories. So you can define the fire images from the non-fire images. Then here you can see like the image count equals to this type of bracket and the train data equals to this type of bracket. So here he, he made the 4i category in TQDM in enumerate categories. And then here he made for path inos listeder os.path join to class folder. So here, a class folder equal os path.join equal to data folder. And image count category equals to append category, train data append to this brackets dot format. Here he said, show in this code, he said uh, to show, like he wrote, how to show the image count. So here you can see the, the image count. The fire images are minus uh, i think more than 75 755 and the non fire images minus uh, minus more than 244 here in this code we are creating a data frame and in this data frame you can see the file the id and the labels here now we are going in these next codes this next code this is how we are going to image processing so we are going to process the image so firstly before anything we are masking the function so here how did how did we mask the def which i think no which is equal to define create mask for planet image and then here we chose the color 
here the lower HSV and the upper HSV uh, so the lower is 0 and 0 and the, uh, 250 but the upper is 250, 255, 255. Here, the in range of the mask, the get structure element of the kernel 1 and the morphology X of the mask. And then, in this code, we are uh, like image segment segmentation function. So we are going to segment the image. So here he said, def segment image. And then he wrote mask, create mask for planet, which is image, and then output CV2 uh, byte wise and image, image mask equal mask. Then he wrote return output 255, which is here. Then we are going to sharpen the image. Uh, so sharpening the image. Here he said image blurred CV2, image 003, image sharp. So image blurred and image sharp. Now in here, we are sh uh, we are function we like we are function to get an image. So we are uh, so he wrote uh, define red image, the file path and the size. So image equal image uh, dot load image, and then here we are converting the image to array. So it's is only img equal image dot img slash two array. Then return img. Here we are going to show the sample images. So here you can see NB rows three and MB call, calls five. So I think, uh, not I think I know, the columns are five. So here, one, two, three, four, five, and the row is three, one, two, three. So this is this. He explained it very, like very easy. Here, he wrote, plot subtitle is as sample images. So the subtitle is the title that's going to be in the first. So here is sample images as you can see. And then he said the for i in range 0 nb rolls and for j in range 0 nb calls. Then he wrote the uh, read image diff file and uh, np.random.randit and he wrote the numbers. Now we are going to show sample process processed image so here this code explains to you how to get an image it's easy this code img equal red img and then the file number this code shows you how to get a mask create mask slash four slash planet and this is the segmentation image segmented equal segment image and this how to sharpen the to sharpen the image here he is uh, showing you the sample processed image, uh, which is uh, 0 0.5 and y 0 0.8. He's showing you here orange, the font size 12 for mask font size is 12, and for segmented font size is 12, and for sharpen font size is 12. So all of them are 12. Here you can see uh, the arm um, uh, show is uh, image two, 255 and here arm um, show image mask arm um, show image segmented and arm um, show image sharpen so as you can see all of them are 12 so that's why they are like they are looking the exact same here you can see whereas image so no sample processed image uses for the subtitle like I explained subtitle most of the time becomes the first and here the X and the Y and then here is uh, where you can get an image and the font sizes are all 12 that's why they are. you can see orange mask segmented and sharpen so here he show uh, here the exception exception bottleneck feature extraction here he said the input size is 255 but the process, the process, the process, process the input. Here, this code is the process the input, and this code is how to get the red image. Image dot, uh, equal red. This is the masking and segmentation, and this is the sharpen. Now here we are going to uh, like. How to get it? We are going to print train image uh, shape and then 
print train image size so x equal uh, uh, no x brag and x slash train shape x slash train dot size here we are going to split the data so y equal the fid and then we made the travel train x train val train y train y val and then we did train test split x train uh, and y and the test size and the random state now we are going to print the fire images on training data and the non-fire images on tra training data so as you can see as the output here there it is fire images on training data 610 and non-fire images on training data 189 so now here uh, now we are going to get the features the features are this is the output for the features and this is the feature the weight of the feature is imagine it and the include top is false the polling is afg which equals to average and the batch size is 32 the variables is one and the batch size uh, is 32 and the variables is one now here we are going to print shape of feature size so here is the train shape the train size print train shape print train size here we are going to print the valid validation size shape and print the validation size so the train shape is 799 to 100 uh, 2048 and the train size is 1,636,352 the validation shape is 202,000 48 and the validation size is 4 million 96 no 409,600 409,600 so now here we are going to show the deep learning model so here is the care sequential mode model so here is the sequential model here we wrote model equals sequential and then we made the units equal to 256 the units equal to 64 the units equal to 61 and then the activation is sigmoid uh, re relu and relu and then we made the optimizer equals to adam when it's loss it's equal to byrony cross trophy and it's when it's ma matrix it's equals to accuracy here are we are here we are going to train the model at 100 epochs uh, here is uh, how we are going to train we wrote history equal model dot fit bf train x y y train epochs equal 100 and the batch size is 32 so as you can see now we are training 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 and now we finished and now here is the loss and accuracy so the f uh, figure uh, x equals plot sub plot 1 uh, 2 Fixed size is 14 and 5 and then the set, set title here is training loss you can see it here and the second set set title is training accuracy so th so the fixed size is 14 and 5 now here he said uh, ax0 dot plot history loss color equals salmon 1w equal 2 here he said history accuracy color equal green so here's the accuracy and the color equals green and it's equal to uh, two uh, and uh, when he said salmon it means the fish when you eat fish the color of the fish salmon so that's why it's salmon so the color of this is called salmon and here we predicted the validation data here you can see prediction equal model dot predict classes here is the classification report here's uh, how we got the input of the classification report we wrote print bracket classification slash report and here's the output and now here is the confusion matrix we wrote confusion slash mat equal confusion matrix y slash val predictions so we made the figure size 10 of 10 and the sns heat map uh, square equals true and on anode equals true here is the y tick labels and x tick labels so here is fire image non fire image fire image non fire image the title is confusion matrix you can see here 
the x label you can see here uh, it's on the x axis here you can see y true and on the uh, y label it's prediction that you can see it's on the y label so we finished i finished explaining thank you for hearing my explanation on this code that's talking about fire classification